Chess friends, how are you? Hope you are good and today I will show you the amazing chess game between Alpha Zero and me. In this game I sacrificed my knight and rook against him. Anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new, so let's go. I started the game with knight f3, we have knight f6 c6 and c5 copycat line, it is called English opening with symmetrical variation, knight c3 and the game converted into symmetrical variation with three knights system, e6 and I want to play bishop fumetto in kingside, therefore black can strike the center with d5, g3 b6, is alpha zero copying my moves. Maybe because he is my true subscriber, bishop g2 bishop b7 we have castle, d6 rook e1 and he played knight d7, he didn't play knight c6 because the bishop line would be covered by his own piece, so we have e4 with the idea of d4 to control more squares in center. The two most important days of your life are the day that you're born and the day that you find out why, so we have rook c8, b3 queen c7 and d4, this is coming so after pawn takes we have knight takes d4, bishop e7 and I played f4, it's a very aggressive move, it announced that I would attack in the center, knight b5 square will be a great outpost to attack the queen and the center pawn, bishop a3 will add pressure in this diagonal. You may think that f4 move creates weakness in my position but it's not the truth, the truth is that the bishop will never come to this diagonal to check me. That's my clarification because I know every chess moves and its strategy and tactics very well, I am not like ordinary human like Magnus or Levy, my queen and the rook have very good close files to attack in the center, which is why Alpha Zero tries to strike the kingside with h5, he want to break my pawn combination of king structure, so we have bishop a3 to target the pawn where the knight will come to the b5 to add pressure on it with queen. A6 to protect that square so in this position I decided to sacrifice my knight by playing knight d5, it's a totally amazing move by me, the knight is targeting to the queen and the bishop at same time so alpha have to take the knight, e takes d5 and here if you play any normal move thinking by your dull brain, for example a5, then I will sacrifice the rook by capturing the bishop, takes and then I will sacrifice my another material, inviting black to take the bishop. Thus I will place the king and queen position in a dumb position, then I will play knight f5 check to fork the king and queen, you will lose your queen so back to the position, alpha is a smart guy so he played g6, knight c6 to target the bishop with two pieces, so after doing pieces exchanges in c6 square, I made my great pawn on c file with bishop support, here if you again use your dull brain and play h4, try to break white pawn structure, then I will capture the pawn. This loser can't take it because it's pinned and my bishop is well protected by my queen, so the queen has to run. I will capture the bishop, takes takes, queen can't take it because she is pinned, so after knight takes pawn I will plant my queen on d6 to target the queen, game will be completely over for you. Every man is a damn fool for at least 5 minutes every day, wisdom consists in not exceeding the limit, so back to the position, we have knight c5, try to block the diagonal, I played f5 to sacrifice my another pawn and break alpha zero's pawn combination, pawn takes, queen f3, h4 queen takes pawn, threatening to take the knight because the bishop is pinned, so he played knight e6 to block the file, can you guess the move what should I play now? If you find rook takes knight, sacrificing the rook, then congratulation, you are right for the first time in your entire life, after takes we have queen takes e6, the file gets wide open for my rook and the king position isn't in safe mode, the pawn is making much pain for alpha, the bishop, pair making crisscross apple sows to alpha's center position, can you remember, I was played f4 long time ago to attack alpha in center, it's the result of that move. I thought that move idea and its total variations in my one brain cell, which you cannot do in your whole life or even in your 1000 human births, king d8 and we have rook d1, to target this pawn with 1 2 3 pieces, so we have knight e8 to protect that pawn, bishop e2 rook goes to h5, and chess friends, if you want to become like me and defeat any chess player then you can like and subscribe to my youtube channel, we have rook e1 takes, this targets to this pawn so I take the g pawn. And after some moves later, we have king to g1, and a4, knight here queen back to h4, threatening to take the knight and after rook takes bishop, I will play queen h8 check with rook threat, 
So we have knight e8 rook e6, I want to paralyze entire board with bishop e5 queen h8 and look at the black position, his pieces are totally restricted, his rook can't move, his queen can't. In 2017 he restricted me like this in several times, now I taking revenge by restricting all his pieces like this. That's why Bobby Fischer once said, one day you give your opponent a lesson, the next day he gives you one. So wish you all the best, thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.